Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. All right, so sodium shards, ground bone meal, purified void salts. I think the bones would be somewhere around here. I mean, this is like the looks like the bone table, really. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, fire, finery, finally ground bone meal. I'll take that. Okay, we found the bone meal. That's good. Now for the soul shards and void salts, and also food. Also, some food would be f great. I doubt a vampire necromancer would have food lying around though. Fragments, I'll take that. Search a chest. Gold, wonderful. Elven dagger, don't care. And more gold. What do we got? Oh, look at that. Soul gem shards. Wonderful. Can I take it? Can, can I? Yeah, I so there, a second ago. Yep, there we go. Fragments. Nope, there we go. And bigger soul gem. More soul gems. Look at that. I'm t just taking soul gems left and right. <laughs> All right, then I'll take it. Sure, we can recharge our blades and stuff when we need to. And look at her being so considerate, just making a bunch of stuff. Ooh, fire salts, I'll take that. Also, void salts, she said. Ooh, if there's a stock of void salts here, that'd be perfect. Because I can give all those to Eevee, that'd be wonderful. Quick save here. All right, then. I didn't know the commands would have such a nice stockpile of all these materials. Frost salts, ooh, void salts, fire salts, salt pile, fire salts, frost salts, and uh, Serana, I found some purified void salts. Let's begin the ritual, or the process, I guess, to bring the soul cairn up. All right, I found it. I found it all. Let's go and place them in here, I guess. Oh, they're glitching a little. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. I am ready. Okay, here goes. Once I get better, I feel like the RP voice is going to change a little bit. Slightly. Maybe be a little higher. Maybe be a little less raspy. Yeah, it is. It really is. Now, the reason I'm ha not having, like, first, like, oh my god, like, initial first reaction, like, oh my god, this is amazing, is because I already did this through the vampire livestream, through the RP, uh, the capture that I did through the livestream. So, if you'd like to watch that, that's always available on my channel. And, uh, yeah, if you'd like to see the, how to create a vampire character that will eventually come out to Tamro's story. A very important part. Uh, feel free to watch that. I'm gonna be making other side characters every now and then that focus on certain element of the game that I always want to discover, such as let's say a mage, like a, like a summoner mage or something like that, or a vampire or something like that. So do I want to go through it or? Oh, I, it's burning me actually. Yep, that is burning me. Ow, 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 ow. That kind of hurts actually. You all right? That looked painful. Uh, it was. What happened? Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The Soul Cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. So, there's no way in then? There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Are you saying that I need to become a vampire? Not your first choice, I guess. There has to be another way. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. Wouldn't that kill me? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. Maybe. That, that's the problem. It's, it's a maybe. Uh, these are my only options. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way. Something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Alright, so we gotta either become a vampire or become partially soul-trapped. Have you made the up thing your mind? 
And the thing is, I don't want to really become a vampire. As much as I know I can cure it through several methods, I'm pretty sure I can mod in a quest line that will cure vampirism for me. I don't want to become a vampire. There are a lot of debuffs that come with becoming a vampire. And really, when, I, when it comes to becoming either vampire or werewolf, I always think of what are the negatives of the both that come with the you know with the profession, with the ability to become a vampire or a werewolf. I think of the negatives that come with it rather than the positives, because the positives don't usually outdo the negatives all the time. Like that's the that's the issue with it. And becoming a vampire would cause us to side with the vampires. I'm pretty sure Donker wouldn't like that. But, and I don't want to really piss him off. So we're going to stay tried and true and sacrifice our soul. I mean, we're already hungry, thirsty, and tired. I don't think it can get any worse unless we can, like, find some kind of food here that can, like, make us feel better. Vampire dust. We'll take that. I guess. Garlic. I wonder if I can eat ingredients to satisfy my hunger. Like, maybe eat, uh, Elvesy or something. Storm Magica. Or eat, uh, what can I eat? Frost Mir Miriam? Yeah, there we go. Resistance to stuff. We own garlic. I can try to eat that. Resistance to poison. Doesn't really increase my health bar, but or my food bar. You know, we'll we'll trap our soul. That's what we can do. Yeah. Um, soul trap me. I won't feel right as a vampire. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but we need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul cairn. Um, I'm ready. You know what? We, we're already as weakened as we are, and we can be weaker than that. So I'm gonna leave most of the fighting for Serrani in that case. I'm just gonna be standing on the side support, pretty much. Or try to do my best to survive. Like, this is gonna be a challenge, but I'm gonna let you take up the challenge. Hopefully we don't have to stick around in Soul Cairn for long. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. I trust you completely, Serrana. Let's get this done. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. Right. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. And our soul has been trapped. All right then. Uh Let's go. My mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. Hopefully that will be okay. Yep, it's not burning us, so that's a good sign. Let's go through Soul Cairn. Alright then, well... I didn't have this kind of trouble when I played the vampire character, but I guess that's kind of what happens when you try to be a living mortal thing with a soul, going to Soul Cairn that feeds on souls. So it just hung it's just very hungry. So because Sorana was able to trap us in the you know, Soul Gem, we're not considered a living thing. Wow, look at the skybox. Hopefully this place is not cold, so I don't have to worry about getting my butt frozen to death. Not sure what this stuff is for. I think it... Oh, never mind. Now I'm over-encumbered. <laughs> I probably should not be carrying this stuff then. Uh, where is it? Uh... Should be in the ingredients, right? I have Saber Cat. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna, you know what? I could probably just drop some of this stuff. Because I really don't need, like, I don't need Eye of Saber Cat. I don't need Radio Heart. Blue Mountain Flower, don't need either. Uh, Nightshade, I'll keep because I think Nightshade is pretty important. Purple Mountain Flower, Red Mountain Flower, don't need that. 60 Vampire Dust. You know what? I could probably drop half of that and not worry about anything. Let's do that. Let's drop half of Vampire Dust. Oh, open the journal accidentally. Are we good? Alright, good. Just spill a bunch of ingredients all over the place. <laughs> I'm a very disrespectful alchemist when it comes to ingredients. Alright, so this is a soul cairn. Place where souls pretty much go dead. Which is very, very morbid if you think about it. And we got a bunch of wisps like this flying around. Which is really creepy. I guess we should try to talk to some of the souls. See what they have to say. I live in a dark world where no light shines through. I carry this burden with every step I take. Alright then. I guess there's no point in talking to them unless they got something important to tell us. Other than that, I don't really know what they could tell us, really. Hello? This accursed place is nothing but a prison without walls. Alright then. Oh, look at this. We got some kind of items over there. But how do we unlock this? Looks like we have to, like, do something with these things to something. Get inside. You know what? Part of me kind of... Ooh, hunting bow and uh, arrows. Not bad. Well, I think we got 
Let's see. Let's see. Yep, we got. We still got our equipment though, so that's good. You know what? What I'm gonna do? It just I'm gonna adventure with our equipment right now that we got, and I'm just gonna go with things. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna just try to follow the main storyline here. I've done most of the side stuff on the on the vampire character anyway. What a horrible place. It really is. This doesn't look very inviting whatsoever. Oh, we got some enemies. Oh God. Now, how weak am I gonna be out here? Does it put a debuff on me to let me know how weak am I? Weakened soul. Okay, health, magic, and stamina recover very slowly while in soul cairn and are reduced by 45 points. Oh well, you know what? That's actually might not be too bad. I think we'll probably deal with that. Just we have less health, less mana, which we don't use, and we have uh, less stamina, which we do use. But I think we'll be all right. We do have plenty of it as it is. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Uh, come down. Who's Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Um, wait, I gotta do the RP voice. How can I help him? Arvac? Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Okay, so... Until next time. <laughs> until next time, yeah, until next time. See you, buddy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, see you around, buddy. It's like, Arvac, come back! I'll see you around. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just go on through. I think I remember the Arvac's occasion. I've done it on the vampire character, though I don't know how beneficial it would be to get Arvac for us, since we already have chocolate as a mount. So, would we really need a, a horse that we can summon? Arvac is a horse, a blue flame horse, that you can summon. And it pretty much looks like exactly like Serana's flaming horse, except instead of being red flames, it's blue flames. And Arbeck can has a certain period when he's alive, so he can die pretty quick. So I don't know if I want to really go through and find Arbeck or get him. I mean, I guess we could, but there'd be really no beneficial reason. We already have a horse outside this world. And as, I doubt we're going to be using magic much as this character anyway, because we're, you know, we're mostly a hunter. Hunters don't really have, you know, a need for magic, to be honest. Hello? I guess you got nothing from you. I'm just gonna go ahead and go this way. That's what I'm gonna do. Let me just go head over this way. So, are we good? Okay, good. Jesus, the thunder is actually very eerie in this place. I don't know how you, a regular person, would be able to handle this place, because, like... I mean, I know we got our soul trap in here, but still, this is a very, very eerie-looking place. Very eerie, dark, and depressing looking place, actually. Kind of upsetting, if, any if anything at all. <laughs> Very upsetting. Yeah, we got plenty of stamina. Look at us. We can run for a real long time. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, shit. That's not good. Suana, please protect me. Oh. Nope. Sir. Suana, thank you. Suana's gonna be my guardian in this place because we are weak right now. I'd rather have her do all the punches. We'll just grab the attention of everybody. That's what we'll do. But yeah, I got plenty of stamina, to be honest, here. Let me check how much stamina I got. Currently, I got 62 points of hell of magic, which I really don't care for. 215 points of uh, health, which is not bad, to be honest. It looks like we have more health. Oh, no, no mind. We got more stamina than anything. 260 points, which is not too bad. You know, I'll take it. Not too bad. Not, not bad at all. Granted, we are tired, mildly hungry, and mildly thirsty. As long as it doesn't become extremely hungry and extremely thirsty, I think we should be okay. So let's get out of this world as fast as possible and get ourselves a nice, delicious feast. Quick save over here. I think we come up to nearing where Suana's mother is at. So let's go say hi to her. Mother? Mother? It can't be. Serana? A lovely reunion. Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Saron, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a minute. You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. 
I would speak with you. All right. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Uh, let's see. What have we got choice over here? Uh, I'm just here for the other scroll. There's no ruse. I want to keep her safe. This is no ruse. I want to keep her. Well. You know, yeah, but you know, we're going to be pretty honest and straight up for it. This is no ruse. I want to keep her. Uh, I want to keep her safe. Coming from one who murders vampires as a trade. I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why I'm here for the for the Elder Scroll. <clears throat> That's why I'm here for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. How does Serana fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. <clears throat> um, let's see. Serana underwent this ritual willingly? It was expected of her. Just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. The Cold Harbor? What is that? It's what some call the domain of Molik Ball. His place in oblivion. And I believe we actually get to see Cold Harbor in the beginning of Elder Scrolls Online. I think that's Cold Harbor. But still pretty cool looking place. Uh, the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood? Why is that? Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I would never allow that to happen, ever. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? Let's see, we could kill him. We need our help. Perhaps her death is. Um, I'll need your help if if we if we had to kill Harkin and defeat him. I would need your help. You have the Elder Scroll, and we need it in order to find the bow. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. And Serana's opinion in this? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind evil creatures that need to be destroyed no wait no you're not what is she she's just, just this lady is just jumping to conclusions immediately just because I joined the dawn guard I just joined the dawn guard because I thought it'd be a fun hunt that's about it I just got well uh, just put up into this mess I, it's, it's not like I chose to become like the, the vampire hunter of dawn guard it's just it just happened it's not it's, it was completely out of my control she doesn't understand it which eh, makes it kind of a difficult person to deal with. Um, Serana believes in me. Why won't you? Serana? This stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. 
But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes, the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, we're still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Saran. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me, but for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Do you have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. What do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. We'll return soon. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevere roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. All right then, so we got to kill the boneyard keepers and keep my daughter safe. We'll do, we'll do. We'll do, don't worry about it. Well, I mean, we rescued her, so obviously we're going to want to keep her safe. So in order to pass things and get back to the prison. Through the barriers, through the barrier over here, we need to kill the keepers in order to get through. And the keepers are the only anchor that hold the uh this place closed. Alright then, well that's actually a pretty good progression. Alright, so next episode what I think we'll do is we may get Arbok, but overall we'll go take care of the Keepers and deal with them before continuing on with, you know, the mission of the Hunter and everything. Hopefully we don't not, hopefully we're not that weak, even though we got us so drained. It is, it does suck compared to being a vampire. If you were a vampire, it would probably be a lot stronger if we could get out, get a cure, but having us so drained, I think would be better if you don't want to betray the Dawn Guard, I think that this will be pretty good. So let's let's just continue on from uh, from here in next episode. We'll get the keepers. We may get Arvok. We may just skip them because I simply don't really care to have ma any kind of magical abilities for Temral. To be honest, he's a hunter. He doesn't really need a lot of magic at all. Um, and uh, we'll just see what goes from there. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. See ya.